What's up everybody? It's Andy from Angry by Nature and today we're going to talk to you about a great activity to do in Osaka with kids. It's a hidden gem called Expo City. Stick around till the end for Japan's first all-you-can-eat KFC buffet. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for more smart family travel guides. So this place is action-packed, so let's get right into it. Expo City! Welcome to Nephril. So what is Nephril? It was actually produced by the Osaka Aquarium Kayakun and it's an interactive aqua zoo. This place is really futuristic and modern and we thought it would be a great idea to share with you this one hidden gem. Follow us and keep watching, we'll show you the rest of Nephril. Guys, seriously, have you ever seen an aquatic animal exhibit like this before? This is crazy. It's so creative how they put everything together. I'm just continuously amazed. This is taking it to the next level. Like everything is just completely open. Like look at that pelican there. It's like <laughs> on the fence. Another great attraction at Expo City is the Red Horse Ferris Wheel right here. It's 123 meters tall and you can see Osaka and all the surrounding areas. Now to my right we have Versus Park which is a great place to challenge your friends or family in 16 different challenges. Some of the activities include base table tennis, run run, billy car, Card corner and many more. We really wanted to try this, but this is more suitable for older kids. It is a bit pricey, so for the little ones, it's not worth it. They won't be able to do too much. Maybe we'll do it next time we come back. Man, this is the biggest pet store I have ever seen. They've got reptiles, they've got the Japanese spits right there. That's a, that's a puppy. And they've got a puppy British Bulldog there. Hello. What's um, that? So they're like pre-packaged pet meals. You know how at supermarkets you can get like, you know, all kinds of Japanese meals in packages. You can get them here for pets too. Mommy. Pet Gachapon. My god, they're everywhere. Expo City has a huge collection of shops to add to the entertainment. There's a whole bunch of local and international brands that you will find right in here. And as you can see, this shopping center is massive. Like, we just went into the biggest pet shop we have ever been in in our lives. And there's variety stores and a whole bunch of awesome stuff. So definitely come and check this out when you're in Expo City. Plus, inside the shopping mall, there are heaps of dining options, as you can see here. So just come in, go to the top floors, and pick and choose what you want to eat. How awesome is this? We have two Gundams battling it out right behind me. So cool. Here you can find the Gundam Cafe and also a shop just to the right here. Come here for a quick coffee and check out all the Gundam. There's even an awesome CNN Cafe with a kids play area. theme park with four cute adorable little rides that even small kids can go on. This is probably more suited for smaller kids and to go on one of these rides is about 400 yen which is roughly just under four US dollars. High five! High five! High five! High five! Two, three, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 
my god! Go! Ah, fly, you're too fast! Fly is the winner! The Tower of the Sun. As you can see, we are trapped outside because it is closed and we didn't know it had a closing time and we didn't know it had an entry fee to get into the park. So if you wanna get here to see the Tower of the Sun and roam around the park, be sure to get here before 4.30. That's when last entry is. The Tower of the Sun was a symbol for the 1970 World Fair Expo. It stands at 70 meters tall and it has three faces that represent the past, present and future. KFC restaurant, all you can eat buffet. Yes, that is right. <laughs> Boy, he's doing a dance. Yes, that's how exciting it is. We're gonna go inside and try out Osaka's very first KFC buffet here in Expo City. And we're gonna show you what it's like. Cost. It's about 1800 yen per adult during lunchtime, which is around 16, 17 US dollars. And during dinner time, it's about 2500 yen, which is about 23, 24 US dollars per adult. And if you have a kid that's aged four and over, they've got to pay about 1800 yen, which is around 16, 17 US dollars. So Pretty reasonable for an all-you-can-eat KFC buffet. Guys, I got all the best pieces that I love, <laughs> which is the ribs and thigh. KFC pieces are the most juiciest parts. I love it. I love it here already. <laughs> Everything that I want, not what the other people pick, me, pick for me. It's what I want. You do realize at KFC you can ask for these parts, right? Yeah, but you feel somewhat guilty, you know? They just look at you like, oh, you're so demanding. But here, <laughs> I can pick whatever I want, when I want. True. Uh, have they got hot and spicy? No, that's the other thing they don't have. Work, but it's work, all work. good. It's all good. And he gets his pot. Look, the substitutes. We've got some lasagna. Oh, K K lasagna. KFC lasagna. <laughs> yeah, boy. Look how excited you're like a little kid in a candy I know. store. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. You know what I noticed though? I had zero drumsticks. Someone is stealing all the drumsticks over there. Well, are they even cooking any? Or did someone take them all? Oh, that's true. Maybe, maybe they don't have it on with nuts. Maybe it's a, a delicacy. Delicacy. <laughs> a delicacy. This is the healthiest I've eaten at any KFC. <laughs> I got some corn soup, two nuggets, and a heck of a lot of salad because I feel like I'm lacking a lot of greens here in Japan because we eat a lot of seafood and a lot of meat, but not a lot of veggies. Tina, what is that? We're at KFC, or you can eat, and you're going for greens. <laughs> I, just, I just need my greens. I'm eating double for you, where are your greens? Because you're not getting any Yeah, because I'm making the most of KFC. <laughs> this is KFC. Hey, I thought it was... I thought it was okay. It's probably not worth it for me since I'm not a big KFC fan or fried chicken fan. So I was going for like the stir-fried chicken and the salads and stuff, which is not really what you come to KFC for. But if you're a big KFC fan and you have a big appetite, this is the place to come. Or at least just come and check it out what it's like to eat at a KFC buffet restaurant. Rafi, Rafi, get down. Anyways guys, we are just gonna go and make our way home slowly and walk it off and just pass it out into a food coma now. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more family-friendly travel guides like this one. Hit that notification bell. La, 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 like this video. I'm like food drunk right now. I'll see you in the next video guys. Laters. <laughs>